Welcome back everybody, the History Guy here. This is part two of the Battle of Shiloh in legendary mode on the Union campaign of Ultimate General Civil War. Picking up right where I left off, if you did not see the rest of the videos in this series to this point, this is the sixth video in this campaign. Link is in the description to take you back all the way to episode one of the series. Uh, where things stand, I have valiantly held against a two to one uh, adversity here, a two to one disadvantage in numbers. He outnumbers me about 40,000 to 20,000. I did get a little bit of reinforcements from the Army of the Ohio uh, in the form of a couple of brigades along with the skirmishers that I've broken off. However, the big problem I'm facing right now is that he's got this little narrow passageway uh, to get around my army and get the objective. And if he takes this objective for even, I think, 20 minutes, he wins the battle. Uh, so, unfortunately, I have to protect it. Uh, and that doesn't mean just sending some skirmishers up there, because if I do that, he's just going to start marching his army back here where I can't see them. And he's going to plow right through these skirmishers, and there will be nothing I can do to stop them. So, what I've got to do is I've got to start by getting around... Uh, Gladden's uh, brigade here so that he can't actually we're going to hold Amon's skirmishers right there we'll get these two guys up here first uh, just to slow him down and then what I've got to do is I've got to start pulling units back uh, to those fortifications so that he doesn't hit me it doesn't matter if I hold all this stuff if he pushes through and takes the objective and uh, I know that it's at least two hours before I get any more reinforcements, and that's a long, long time to hold this objective with just skirmishers. So uh, we're going to have to pull back some divisions. Eventually, he's probably going to start shifting these units over, which means I can do the same, just kind of start shifting. I don't want to pull units all the way from my right flank all the way up to my left and have them be exhausted. Uh, so I'm going to have to get creative with how I kind of leapfrog some of my units to get them in position. But that's the plan. Now we'll see how it works out. Okay, so now we've got to somehow begin the process of getting into position up there before he can get there. And I know that cavalry is going to be a problem for me. I also know that if I pull too much out, He's going to think that that's a license to jump in and start hitting me. Cavalry's already ridden up there to try and grab the objective from me. Here he comes. He's coming out the hornet's nest. I'm going to pull Reed out of there if I can. Man, he's sending the house right now. About 9,000 men about to charge into these guys. 10,000 men charging at McKean right now. He's got no chance right there. Ugh, what a mess. Because he just has no good way to turn here. Cavalry is just kind of roaming free. I'm going to keep everybody else right where they are. I know he's going to start sneaking people up this way. But I'm hoping I can just slow him down until my reinforcements arrive. Just not sure. And leaving this hole here is going to make him think, all right, time to charge in. I guess we're going to have to leave them there for now. Maybe we send the fighting fins over here. I 
I gotta be careful with these guns. I'm, I might have to keep them down here for now. Alright, so, so, so far so good here. We're just kind of halting him, but I'm really worried about this. We've got to get the fighting fins over there to open up another line of fire on Jackson because McKean just can't hold, not under this fire. Really hoping Fry can get into wood a little bit here. So maybe we can do this. I'm going to send Fry's skirmishers over this way to protect his flank from Stevens. No, 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 Fry. Skirmishers this way. This way. Thank you. And then that way Fry can get into Wood's flank, hopefully. Alright, everybody else just hang on. What? What is Jenkins doing? Man. Somehow I allowed him to get behind my lines. And now he becomes an issue for me. Does Carol's Marauders have skirmishers available? They do. Alright. How about Phelps? He does too. Perfect. Alright. So my main issue, I can see most of this here. So I just want to be able to see if he starts sneaking people up there. Oh, here he comes. Oh boy. Am I? All right, I want to pause for just a second. Okay, Hazen isn't really firing on Gladden, so I'm gonna actually. I think I'm gonna move him down here for now. Between these skirmishers and hopefully these six pounders, we can do some damage here. This is the real problem, because the fighting fins just got slammed into. And I just have very little to protect me here. Oh, skirmishers, get out of there. Wow. Oh, that's a problem. Yikes. Alright, careful Hazen, don't get too far ahead of yourself there. Oh, there's just so many men, continues to be the problem. Poor fighting fins. They've got 1800 kills, but uh, 600 deaths now. Oh, Fry. Alright, turn around quickly. Jeez, here he comes. I'm gonna reattach these skirmishers, what's left of them. Man, these guys are just so heavily outnumbered right now. And Gladden, man, he's just getting pummeled by these gunships from behind, but it doesn't seem to be phasing him too much. I have to try and get my supplies up here discreetly without his cavalry coming after him. Oh man, do I need those reinforcements in the worst way. Alright, Phelps, you get up here and do your part. Alright, now where's he coming at me? Right here. Hit him, Napoleons. Give him some canister fire. Oh, 
I don't know how I'm hanging on. I really don't, but I know I need ammo up there. This is my problem. The fighting fins have fought so well, but there's just so few of them left. Ugh. Let's get these skirmishers up on the line. Maybe they can help out a little bit. Right there. Now the Princess of Wales regiments getting low on ammo. I really should have split my two core ammo into separate ones. So I would have had a little more flexibility. How are we not driving this guy off? Phelps is just really taking it right now, though. We got gunboats firing into him, crater in the whole area, but not doing any damage. I'm going to move these six-pounders up. I want to really cause some damage to him. Looks like I've, I've pinned his cavalry, and they don't know what to do. Bring the Ohio Outlaws over here, see if we can deal with Shaver once and for all. Uh, I'm really concerned about this area right in here. That's where he could really cause some damage to me. But I think I've, I've largely frozen him. He's got all these men sitting here, but they don't seem to want to advance. I don't know why they won't advance, because he could just punch right through my line if he wanted to. Now we get these six pounders firing on Gladden. That should definitely make the difference. 223 to go. Where are the reinforcements? I just keep watching to the north, hoping they're going to show up. Ah, poor fighting fins are down to 514 men. McKean's down to 438. But somehow we drove off Statham. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I am not complaining. And yet... Equally confusing is why we can't drive this guy off. This is the guy I would have thought we would have been able to drive off. Alright, I feel like we can bring Peckham back down. I rushed that brigade up there thinking we were going to need him, but it appears maybe I don't. Alright, here he comes again. The fighting fins may not survive this charge. Get a volley into them and get out of there. Oh, jeez. Because they, they may actually surrender if they get hit too hard here. I'm going to send these, this wee small brigade to try and plug that hole. Get Carol's Marauders up a little bit. Oh, Phelps is getting just lit up. We're going to send Peckham over there. He's in good condition. I cannot believe, as much as this guy's been hit from three sides, that he's just fine with it. These two brigades are so small right now. Oh my goodness, I'm just facing so many men. This may be a battle, even if I hold Pittsburgh Landing for the next two hours. I may be fighting for a draw, because I just don't see the advantage of trying to advance and take these positions when I've lost so many men, and it's really only a difference of about $70,000 and 2,000 men. Here comes Shaver. He's finally getting bold enough to attack. We're going to come down and let him regret that decision. Ohio Outlaws are needing supplies, though. Oh, boy. He's going to charge right into my weakest point. 
which makes total sense. It's exactly what he should do. And that's causing a ripple effect, it appears. I want to pause again for just a second because I gotta just keep reevaluating the whole situation all the way up and down the line. Okay. Hopefully Peckham can uh, help me hang on. All right, we drove off Shaver. I, I think, I think we're safe enough to pull the Ohio Outlaws out, pull these guys over. I'm gonna send his skirmishers with him. And I'm gonna send these Napoleons over too, because he's. You can see this is pretty much empty now, which means he's shifting this way more and more. Good night. How many casualties do we have to cause on Gladden before he pulls out of there? Especially when he's being hit on three sides. Thankfully that cavalry is just still frozen. It seems like every so often you can get your men in just the right position where the AI kind of freezes up and doesn't know exactly what to do. Oh man, more is going to disappear. He's going to surrender or just be destroyed. And that's not one of my new brigades. He's actually a one-star unit. But the good news is he's hitting me here instead of up where the objective is. All right, more you're uh, you're buying time with your life. There he goes, he, d he just disintegrated. And now he's gonna throw some more in. Oh, Fry's gonna be next, but that's one of my new units, so that's not as big a deal if it comes to that. I'm getting the ammo down here. We're getting low on supply, but we do still have some left. As long as that cavalry, oh, he's finally moving. So whatever I did, I did something that changed the uh, the behavior of the cavalry. Man, this is just bad. I mean, Gladden just refuses to die. No matter what I do, he will not break. Got to get the Ohio Outlaws down there. Let's come in here and get Shaver. 128. Where are the reinforcements? Where? Where is the second division of the Army of the Ohio? Oh my goodness. Where's he gonna hit me next? Gladden has just destroyed two entire brigades with no trouble whatsoever. McKean's going to be next. Ohio Outlaw is going to have to hit him. What do we got to do to this guy? Goodness. I might be better off to just let him shoot it out with the skirmishers. Maybe. I don't know if Peckham and Phelps will merge here. Alright, who's he hitting this time? It's Fry. Alright, we're going to charge the Ohio Outlaws in there. Looks like we might not have to. Fighting Finns are down to just 346 men. But they've taken out 2,400. I just don't want to see them dissolve. I need to save that unit, especially after the day they've had. An hour and 11 to go. Where are the reinforcements? 
I expected they might be later on legendary mode. I mean, because they come in at like 2.30 on the mission time on the easier modes. But we're at almost an hour left, and they're still not here. And I'm about to lose this brigade altogether. I'm afraid to move any of these guys over to face him for fear that'll cause those other units to start moving. And I like having these guys all frozen right here. Fighting fins, I just gotta keep an eye on them. An hour to go. All right, we're shifting up and over. We're gonna take the Princess of Wales over. Actually, we're gonna keep Upton right where he is. I'm gonna take this regiment or this brigade because it's a big one. It's about the biggest one I have left. And I gotta keep an eye on this cavalry because he may make a last-ditch effort to hit the objective. I cannot fathom that these guys are still sitting here. Their numbers must be staggeringly good. I'll have to check that out when the battle's over and see what Gladden did to me. Man, I just have so few men left. What few remain. I'm going to pull the Wolverines back a hair. Oh, here we go again. Second Corps has taken 50% casualties. First Corps has taken 40% casualties. Finally! Ah, oh, with 51 minutes to go. Here comes the help we have craved. Thousands and thousands of reinforcements finally arrive on the field. We're going to stick Kirk right here at the objective. That's the only thing that matters at this point. Except for just trying to keep the rest of my men alive. I am definitely not going for a win here. He's got too many men still alive. I mean, we'll look when we get back to camp and see what he's got left. But I'm sure he's still got a, a hefty advantage in manpower. Oh, Gladden finally fell back after all that. Forty-three minutes to go. Could have used you guys an hour or two ago. Oh, fighting fins, okay. Only 312 men left. Not okay. Goodness gracious, 2,500 kills, 905 deaths. Problem was, that was my best equipped unit. It was the only one that didn't have 1842s. Alright, Princess of Wales, Royal Regiment on their way to help stabilize the line. Oh, Hazen. Oh, boy. He just took like 200 casualties in one volley. Thirty-three minutes. Let's get these guys down here. Start running, boys. Hazen takes another volley like that. He's done for. Okay, I think we're home free. Oh, we're gonna lose those skirmishers, that's okay. It's just another 200 men I didn't have, I <laughs> couldn't afford to lose. Hazen's down to just about nothing too. 
We're gonna rush Russo into that spot. I'm gonna pull Hazen back before he takes another volley and disappears. No, Russo, what are you doing? No, face that way. Ten minutes. Make sure his cavalry's not somewhere they can sneak in and do something to me. All right. Tick, 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 tick. Thank goodness. That was insanely brutal. I, I don't know how I'm going to make it through this whole campaign at this point. Let's go ahead and take a look at the situation. It's not going to be pretty. He's only got 24,000 men left. I've got 29, but oof, still. All right, we'll play it by ear and see how it goes. Maybe, maybe I'll go for it. All right, so we've got four hours left in the battle. All of my forces have been kind of reset. I outnumber them by about 6,000 men, but I don't know. If we can do this with the Army of the Ohio troops, then it's worth it. I mean, at the very least, it's worth sending them out to try. Uh, so that's what I'll do is I'm going to advance with the Army of the Ohio. I'm going to keep my forces snug as a bug right here in uh, Pittsburgh Landing, protected hopefully against any further attack. But we're going to have to take, let's see, uh, we've got to take at least one of those other objectives. So I, I feel like I can probably do that with the Army of the Ohio troops. Uh, so that's, that's what we're going to do is we're going to start start bringing them out here. I'm just going to march them all over that way. And then we'll sort them as they get a little closer. We'll send every one of those divisions. And we're going to let our very few troops kind of deal with all of this. I'm going to get some of my stronger units here in the center because the Wolverines only have 621 men. I don't have any supply, so I really can't resupply these guys who are already struggling with ammo situations. So we'll go ahead and uh, fight this off, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead in time a little bit here. I'm going to get these guns out of here. They're taking unnecessary casualties. We're going to merge up some of these units. All right, so here, uh, this is happening sooner than I thought it would. He's sending Nathan Bedford Forrest up here to have a little fun with me. His three-star, 1,000-man mounted infantry unit. But we're driving him off, and he, he came right up to engage me right here on the line. So he's not going to make this easy for me, but right all the way down here is Shiloh Church. That's my objective. If I can get the men of this army to uh, to push through there. Maybe we can make something happen. Let's get down here and deal with this artillery. I'm going to have to break off some skirmishers from some of these guys. Alright, looks like we're driving Russell off. Yeah, it won't really br let me break off a skirmisher unit from the whole thing, so... I need to go down and hit this battery. Oh, look at that. He's not going to let me hit the battery. He's going to charge at me with everything he's got. So he's still playing the aggressive game. Only this time... Instead of charging into units that he heavily outnumbers, he's charging into units that heavily outnumber him. And he's hitting me all along the line, actually. So, my men are not done yet. Uh, they still have work to be done. And it looks like he's still going to hit me pretty hard. But hopefully the more pressure I can put on the objective, the better off... Uh, the better I can kind of relieve these guys. Maybe I send some of these smaller units back. So 
So I am going to still have to keep one eye on what's happening up here. Hopefully these gunships will help. Got to watch Upton. I've taken out 25% of forest men already. Alright, come on. Let's get on these guys' flank. Start scouting ahead. See what's down here. I'll start sending Garfield that way. Man, these guys are not budging. We're going to send get Gibson through. Alright, where is he trying to hit me now? Okay. That's not going to go well for you, Gibson. These guys do not see... Maybe it's because they're three-star. I mean, but they, they just don't seem to be phased by continual, consistent f fire into their flank while they're also being fired at from the front. Flanking fire just doesn't seem to have the effect on them. Alright, we're kind of throwing things off here. Got to be careful over here on my left, though. Let's get... No, no, I didn't mean to break off skirmishers. I meant to merge him into another unit. I'm going to have to send some help over here. Let's get the Wolverines over there. Alright, we drove off Martin. Let's continue scouting ahead down here, and we'll start pushing south. Two and a half hours to go. It looks like the road's pretty clear, at least up, as this, uh, up this far. I just gotta be careful he doesn't leave too many men up here and make leave me regretting what I'm doing here. If he overloads in one spot, I might still be in trouble. All right, we're gonna have to get Nelson over there because he is starting to load up a little bit. I'm gonna get the guns back over in here too. Uh, our work is not yet done, boys. All right, we pull Upton out. We put Carol's Marauders on the line. I feel like because he's got so much up on the line that he's probably not got a lot down here. Okay, he does have his mounted infantry there. No, not mounted infantry. Those are melee cav. Two brigades ought to be enough to deal with them. So we're going to use these guys to get some pressure on what he's doing here. Alright, he just hit me. Come on, gunboats. Thank you. Gunboats and artillery doing their job. Thank goodness for these reinforcements from the Army of the Ohio. Which is, I'm sure, how Grant really felt that day. Alright, we can play that game. Smith, you can hang tight. Since you're at zero condition, back up. Alright, Jenkins is going to try to fight me off. It's not going to work so well for him. Alright, that should probably do it. Oh yeah, let's take out this battery. I think we can start skipping a little bit ahead here.
some ammo issues. These are all freebies as far as the numbers go because I don't keep any of these troops so nothing to be lost by charging headlong into his forces. We'll sit tight right there though. Right now I just want to cause more casualties so hopefully that leads to more guns I capture on the field. And now we sit tight. I have what I need. I've inflicted at least 20 more percent, 20 percent more casualties on the enemy. I hold Shiloh Church. I hold Pittsburgh Landing. I just need sit tight and make sure that I continue to inflict more casualties on him than he on me. Alright, we're going to go ahead and skip this thing to the end now at this point. Oh yeah, take out those batteries. Just got to keep one eye on Shiloh Church, make sure he doesn't get any ideas. I also got to watch because he's starting to send some additional units up here. And that could get a little dicey. Once I push through over here, in fact, let's go ahead and send Gibson up there. Gotta get a little more pressure on these guys. I'm not worried about Boyle's flank. These are free men. Of course, I'd never think that way in a real battle as a general. It looks like he has nobody back there but his cavalry. Okay. Forrest is down to just 416. I probably could break off skirmishers and do this a little easier, but honestly, this has been a long, exhausting battle, and I'm just a little bit tired of managing my troops right now. And all I can think about is Fredericksburg. Because <laughs> that's the next one that's going to be... Well, no, we've got the Seven Days campaign first, hopefully... I can build up a decent army before we get that far. But man, Fredericksburg is gonna be a nightmare. Eh, he's charging in a few more times. Hour and 10 to go. Oh, look at Statham. He's going to dive in once again there. Oh, we just about wiped out Forrest. Man. These guys are tough, though. I mean, they've taken a beating in some cases and have kept fighting. And then in other cases, they've gone up against units that they vastly outnumbered and they broke. So, I don't know. Oh, look at you go, Forrest. Run, Forrest, run. Bye-bye. All right, we're low on ammo. I'm impatient. I'm taking out these guns. I'm going to try and cause a few more casualties as this thing expires. And he's going to go one more time at me. And we just wiped Statham out. We captured his cavalry. All's well that ends well, I guess. Captured Martin. So what was an ugly, ugly fight gets beautiful in the last moments at least.
Come on. Come on, guys. Get in there. Let's get these guns. You don't cost me anything to lose you. Ah, uh, they're zero condition. They can't charge. There we go. Boyle's going to take a lot of casualties here at the end. That's okay. Alright, that's it. No, we're going to keep pressing because the only casualties I'm really taking are men that aren't mine. And after all this time and after everything I've been through, I deserve to get a little bit of uh, revenge kills here. So we're going to take out these batteries. We're going to take out these regiments, these brigades. I have no ammo, but that's okay. We're going to push these guys all the way to the river if we can. At least get the battery. Once I take out these batteries, I think we'll uh, we'll be satisfied. You know, my men are in such bad condition at this point; they really can't charge anymore. All right, we'll get trig. There we go. Okay, I'm satisfied. Wow. <laughs> I ended up actually near to him in strength, but only because of all those men I got at the end. But look at those casualties. 17,000 on my side. What, 35, 36,000 at least. Um, I don't know. What do we got here? 32, 4, 5,000. 37,500. So more than 2 to 1 in terms of casualties inflicted. Uh, it was still significantly outnumbered, but wow. Okay, so we rescued and captured a whole lot. How many did I lose? Um, 17,000, but not all of those were my troops. Rescued and captured um, between the two, what, about 8,000 Springfields. A bunch of farmers I won't be able to use. I can't believe that's all I grabbed of Lawrence's and everything else. Uh, I really did not get all that much indecent weaponry at all. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, I've at least got a bunch of Brigadier Generals. I really didn't lose a lot in terms of commanders. Uh, so that's helpful. All right, let's take a look at these kills because this is where it's going to be interesting. Fight and Fins, nearly 3,000 kills. Only 471 men walking away from that battle. But man, impressive. Princess of Wales Royal Regiment, also an incredible day. Also nearly 3,000 kills. Didn't take quite the casualties but a great day. Ohio Outlaws, very good performance, 2,500. Uh, Carol's Marauders, 2,000. Every one of those named regiments. Wolverines, not your fault. Um, I know you're from Michigan, so, but uh, no, the, it's still a great day. 1,200 casualties caused. Uh, it just really was the positioning for them. Um, they were just in a different part of the line, doing a different job, and obviously kind of dealt with a different situation. So Pond on his side, 1,800 kills. Gladden's the guy that really kind of just took it on the chin, but caused a lot of casualties for me as well. So now we get into what's next. And uh, at least for once now, we get a nice amount of men. Uh, we've got some reputation points. We've got two career points now that I can spend. But man, my army is in absolute shambles. I've only got 7,000 men in my army. I'm only going to have a little over 20,000 even after I replenish. So we do at least have three minor battles now that hopefully can help me build this army back up. His army is only at 42 to 47,000. So um, Gaines Mill as it stands right now. Let's see where he's at. But obviously that's going to scale. 48,000. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. All right. But we'll worry about that later. So let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. Probably be three or four days before we get to the next battle since I just did back to back. And honestly, I'm exhausted after that one. Uh, I'm glad I came out of there with a win. But, man, that, that was probably one of the most frustratingly difficult battles I've fought. Um, just because I was so heavily out, outnumbered and outgunned. And I feel like it's not going to get any easier. So, um, enough of my complaining. 
Uh, we'll come back and we'll refit at the beginning of the next episode as we get into another battle. Thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up and we will see you again soon.